Good morning, everyone. I'm back with my stand of the day, and today I went back to my bottom rack and uh, you know picked up my alternative clone, whatever you want to call them. And uh, this is one of my favorites, actually. This is 9 p.m. by Afnon, and it gets compared to uh, Le Mal uh, Ultra Mall, Ultra Male. And, um, you know, because it gets compared to that, because some people think it's a clone of that, um, you know, it gets some hate, but it gets a lot of love. I mean, it's it's got a, like a 4.4 something rating. And um, so I was going to be like, I hope this is my last one on clones and alts and all that. Um, you know, I was thinking about this this morning, and uh, I like music. I, I watch music videos uh, just like, you know, I like, watch fragrance videos. And in music industry, on music videos, what we would call this is a cover, a cover of Ultra Male. Uh, like Hallelujah, that's the song Hallelujah by Leonard Cohen. It's been covered by Rufus Rainwright, Rainwright in uh, Shrek. It's been covered by Jeff Buckley. It's been covered by K.D. Lang. And, and people out there, one of those covers may be your favorite version of our Leonard Cohen's. But other people may like Leonard Cohen's original version over any of those covers. And it's the same with these, and it's the same with all the alt fragrances and the inspired buys. There's not one fragrance on Fragnatica that doesn't have a remind me of, you know, and then have something that reminds them of that. And that's because the fragrance reels, you know, there's only so many uh, ingredients that you can put into a fragrance that would smell good on the human body. And those ingredients make notes, and those notes make accords. And, uh, you know, the accords this is like vanilla amber uh, and fruity. And that's what it smells like. And, and so does Ultra Male. Um, I personally like this. I don't have Ultra Male. I've smelled Ultra Male. But since I have this, and since I believe this smells really good to myself and Mrs. Mrs. Fritz, she gave it a nine this morning like she always does, there's no need for me to get ultra male. So I can save the $80 that I may spend on that and put that towards four more fragrances. Um, and the other thing is about, you know, the cheapness. The people say cheap or cheap, whatever. You know, I paid, I think, 40 for this, and that's a full bottle. So when I go into a rack store and I pick something up for 20 uh, which some people say, oh, that's a cheap fragrance, 20 It's really not cheap. You know, I'm usually picking up a 50 mil for 20 which makes that a $40 fragrance. And to me, $40 is not cheap for a fragrance. So the fact that this costs 40 to me, that's that that's a lot of money to spend for a fragrance. Even though I have ones, I have spent more than that. Um, you know, but but me personally, I, I you know, to me that is expensive. Um, and but it also smells good and, and I like it uh, a whole lot. So that's you know, that that's the last I'm probably gonna hopefully I ever have to say about that. Um and, and, and you know what? It is to each their own. Um, you know, you, you, you buy what you like. You know, I, I'm going to wear this today and I'm going to keep doing this today and go, hmm, that smells good because it really does smell good. And yes, it is an alternative to Ultra Male, but it's not a clone of it. I mean, they did change notes. Uh, you know, the notes on this, it has apple and bergamot. And then in the middle, I think it has lavender and one other note uh, that you know, to balance them out. And then it has two florals in the middle, uh, really nice ones, orange blossom and lily of the valley, which I don't think ultra male has. You know, and then at the bottom it has amber and it has vanilla, which are which make them similar. You know, the amber vanilla is what makes it similar. Um, you know, and patchouli in there. and But there's some other notes that ultra male has that this doesn't have. So when people do make these that are inspired by others, they usually put something in or take something out or rearrange the notes so that, you know, it is different and it does smell different. And that's why I don't like using the word clone. You know, I think this, if had if this didn't get compared to Ultra Male, this would be a huge seller. Because, I mean, if you look on Fragnatica, it gets uh, pretty good reviews. And if you asked anybody that wears this, they will say it's a very, very, very nice smelling and long lasting uh, fragrance. So it's almost, it, it's almost, uh, bad that people would call something like that a clone uh, because it probably hurts the sales of it. You know, it, you know, people think, oh, well, I'm not going to buy something that's imitation of that when really it's not. It's different and uh, it's maybe inspired by, but it's different. The notes have changed. And sometimes when you change the notes 
as in those songs I gave you, sometimes it makes it better and sometimes it makes it worse. And that's to each individual. For me, I think this is better than Ultra Male. I've, I've sprayed Ultra Male on my, my hand. I didn't like that as much as I like this. I like it. Of course I like it. But I like this better, I think. Uh, a similar one would be um, Aqua de Gio. I like Aqua de Gio. I love Aqua de Gio. It's a nice fragrance. Who doesn't like it? It's a really class, classic fragrance. I love it. But I also like um, Pariellis Red 360. And I think they're very similar. They take notes and took notes, blah, blah, blah. And to me, I prefer Pariellis Red 360 because of what they took away and what they added. And I do have some Aqua de Joe there, but I have a flanker of it. So, you know, that this whole issue of clones and all that, I think, I think sometimes we give those companies that make them a bad, a bad rap, you know? And we actually hurt their sales by calling them clones. And that'll be my, you know, my, hopefully my last one on this. And I hope I didn't sound too preachy. Uh, my grandkids have seen that before. So if I do sound too preachy in this and, uh, and all that, I'm really sorry. And uh, so uh, I hope we all pray for peace. And I hope we all uh, learn to be kind to each other. And, and more importantly, I learn to be kind to other people. So uh, thank you. And I'll talk to you again tomorrow.